Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the 2021 changes, the relevant de definitions, and use animated scenarios with questions and answers. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 18, Mark Room, is a complex rule, so we'll cover it in three separate videos. A previous video covered Rule 18.1. This video discusses Rule 18.2, which addresses giving Mark Room. Rule 18 is in Section C of Part 2 of the Rules. Section C covers the rules and marks and obstructions. Let's see if you've been paying attention in previous videos. How many rules are there in Section C of Part 2? There are three rules in Section C, Rules 18, 19, and 20. Rule 18 is for marks, and 19 and 20 are for obstructions. Another question, do Rules 18, 19, and 20 apply at the starting line? The answer is no. Remember the preamble to Section C, which is shown here. Now let's look at Rule 18.2. It's long, and we'll cover it in sections. Part A says, when boats are overlapped, the outside boat shall give the inside boat mark room, unless Rule 18.2b applies. For almost all situations, Rule 18.2b will apply, so let's go directly there and come back to Part A later. Take a moment to read Part B. In summary, it says that if boats are overlapped when the first one reaches the zone, the outside boat must give mark room to the inside boat. If the first boat is clear ahead, the clear astern boat must thereafter give mark room to the boat ahead. The word thereafter is important here. If there's an overlap when the first boat enters the zone, the inside boat gets room, even if the overlap gets broken later. Think of a snapshot taken when the first boat enters the zone. This snapshot determines if the inside boat gets mark room. Part C gives further requirements for Part B. First, the requirement to give room continues even if the original overlap at the zone is broken. This is the same as the snapshot concept we just discussed. Second, if you are not overlapped initially at the zone, but then become overlapped, you must not only give the other boat mark room, but also give her room to sail her proper course. At a leeward mark, this might mean allowing the other boat to do a wide and tight rounding. Here are the remaining parts of Rule 18.2. Part D tells us two situations where you can stop giving mark room. You can stop giving mark room if the other boat passes head to wind or if she leaves the zone. Part E cautions us about situations when a boat tries to establish an overlap or break an overlap just before entering the zone. The rule says that if there is doubt, you should assume that the last second change of establishing or breaking the overlap did not occur. In the situation shown, yellow might not get credit for breaking the overlap at the last minute. Part F addresses situations where it's impossible for a boat to give mark room. One example might be the situation shown. Blue may not be able to give mark room to orange if the other boats don't or can't cooperate. Here's the definition of mark room. Take a moment to read it. To give mark room, you have to allow the other boat to do at least three, and sometimes four, things. First, give room to leave the mark on the required side. Second, give the other boat room to sail to the mark. We'll talk more later about the proper course portion of this rule. Third, allow the other boat to round or pass the mark without touching it. This includes letting the boat round in such a way that she can sail the course to the next mark. And finally, you may have to give the other boat room to tack or jibe if she is overlapped inside and to windward, and she needs to tack or jibe in order to sail directly to the next mark. This might occur on a triangle course at a reach mark, as shown on the diagram. Many sailors are uncertain about when Rule 18.2 stops applying. In the situation shown, at which position can yellow stop giving mark room to blue? 
Rule 18.1 says that Rule 18 turns off when mark room has been given. That means when all of the required parts of the definition have been satisfied. This occurs at position 3 in the diagram. Let's take a look at eight examples to apply Rule 18.2. These are all leeward mark examples. We'll cover windward mark examples when we cover Rule 18.3. Here's the first example. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind on the same tack. Is yellow required to give mark room to blue? The answer is yes. The boats were overlapped when the first boat, that is yellow, entered the zone. Blue is the inside boat, so Rule 18.2b requires yellow to give mark room. Here's the next example. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind on opposite tacks. Yellow then jives. When blue enters the zone, she's clear ahead of yellow. After entering the zone, yellow becomes overlapped with blue. Is blue required to give mark room to yellow? The answer is no. Blue is clear ahead of yellow when blue enters the zone. Since blue was clear ahead, the clear astern boat, yellow, is required to give blue mark room. Here's example three. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind on opposite tacks with spinnakers. Yellow reaches the mark first and does not give blue mark room. Blue heads up to avoid yellow. There was no contact. Is yellow required to give mark room to blue? The answer is yes. Blue is overlapped with yellow when blue enters the zone. As the outside boat, yellow is required to give blue mark room. Here's example four. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind on opposite tacks. Shortly after yellow reaches the zone, blue hails for room. Yellow does not respond verbally until reaching the mark and then hails no room. Yellow does not give blue mark room and blue protests yellow. Yellow alleges that the overlap was broken before she entered the zone. Is yellow required to give mark room to blue? Again the answer is yes. Blue is overlapped with yellow when yellow enters the zone. As the outside boat, yellow is required to give blue mark room. Yellow claims that she broke the overlap before entering the zone. Would a protest committee be likely to accept this claim? The answer is no. This is clear based on the diagram, but if there was doubt, it would be assumed that the overlap that existed was not broken in time in accordance with Rule 18.2 ECHO. Here's the next example. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind to the leeward gate on the same tack. When blue enters the zone, yellow is overlapped. After entering the zone, blue turns up, sails faster, and breaks the overlap. Is blue required to give mark room to yellow? The answer is yes. The boats were overlapped when blue reached the zone. This again illustrates the snapshot concept. Here's example six. Yellow and blue are sailing to the leeward mark. Blue is clear ahead when reaching the zone. Blue sails wide of the mark due to trouble with the spinnaker takedown. Yellow sails inside of blue around the mark. Is yellow within her rights to round the mark inside blue? The answer is yes. Yellow is required to give blue mark room. However, Rule 18.2c states that when a boat is required to give mark room, if she becomes overlapped inside the boat entitled to mark room, she shall also give that boat room to sail her proper course while they may remain overlapped. After having trouble with the rounding, blue sailed wide of the mark. Following that, blue's proper course was to sail close hauled, which she was able to do without interference from yellow. Two more examples left. Here's number seven. Yellow, blue, and green are approaching the leeward mark. After entering the zone, green slows down but blue speeds up and rounds inside of yellow. Yellow heads up and contacts blue. There was no damage. Which boat should promptly take a penalty? Yellow should take a penalty. When yellow entered the zone, blue was overlapped with green and green was overlapped with yellow. Therefore, blue was overlapped with yellow. Rule 18.2b apply and yellow was required to give mark room to both green and blue. Blue may have broken Rule 14, avoiding contact, but she would be exonerated since there was no damage. Here's the last scenario. Multiple boats are approaching the leeward mark. Watch this scenario several times. 
is yellow entitled to mark room from light blue. Yes, yellow enters the zone before light blue, shortly after position 5, and the boats are overlapped when yellow enters. Therefore, yellow, as the inside boat, is entitled to mark room from light blue. Is magenta entitled to mark room from green? The answer is no. Green enters the zone at position 1. When entering, the boats were overlapped. Magenta, as the outside boat, is required to give mark room to green. This obligation never changed, even though lots of things happened between entering the zone and getting to the mark. We've covered the most common Rule 18.2 scenarios, which are usually related to Rule 18.2b and the three boat length zone. For a slightly more advanced discussion, let's spend a moment on Rule 18.2a. Remember, Rule 18.2a says that when boats are overlapped, the outside boat shall give the inside boat mark room unless Rule 18.2b applies. So when does Rule 18.2a apply? We'll give two examples. First, on a beat to windward, recall that Rule 18 does not apply between boats on opposite tacks. If two boats are already in the zone on opposite tacks and then one of them tacks, Rule 18 does begin to apply. In the situation shown, Rule 18.2b doesn't apply because the boats were on opposite tacks when they entered the zone. When yellow tacks, Rule 18.2a kicks in. Once yellow tacks to port, blue is the inside boat and is overlapped, so blue is entitled to mark room from yellow. Here's an example from a crowded leeward mark. Let's focus on blue and yellow. Blue is forced to sail outside the zone due to the presence of the gray boats. Yellow is clear astern of blue, but enters the zone before blue. In this case, Rule 18.2b doesn't apply since the boat that was clear astern entered the zone before the boat that was clear ahead. In this case, Rule 18.2a kicks in and applies when blue and yellow are overlapped at position 2. This situation can easily occur at crowded leeward marks, when the booms leave room only for three or four boats to be overlapped and in the zone at the same time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.